Tony Popovich is optimistic of restoring Melbourne victory to its former glory as he takes over at the A-League giant. The new coach has been on the training pitch for the past week as the Wooden Spooners try to bridge the gap on the competition. Victory has made changes from top to bottom in the hope of going from bottom to top. We're going to go into it eyes wide open on the work that we need to do to make up some grounds on the top teams, uh, but also confident enough that, that we can achieve that quickly. Last season was victory's worst in the A-League. Seven! Seventh heaven for the City fans and their players in a derby. Last spot compounding two years of turmoil that only adds to the pressure on the new coach. But Popovich has never shied from a challenge. The biggest club here in the country, uh, the biggest expectation in the country and the best fans in the country. So um, it's a wonderful challenge and, uh, and I've always loved the challenge and I'm excited by this one. In his previous stints in the A-League, Popovich steered both Western Sydney and Perth to titles. He's already added several players from those teams to the victory squad, including former Socceroo Matt Spiranovic, who has been without a home for the last two years. I think he had to twist my arm. It was more that he wanted to convince me that uh, he has that real desire to be the best. And uh, once uh, he did that, <laughs> I was very happy to bring him back. Popovich's first match in charge is said to be against old club Perth when the FFA Cup kicks off. Tim Morgan for 10 News First.